Wednesdays and happy Wednesday. If you've been following the Word Nerd Wednesdays videos for a while, you probably already know that Megan and I are working on a little co-writing project together. Megan's talked about this project a number of different times in her videos, so today you kind of get to hear my side of the story. Megan and I have been in the same writing group for a long time, and for a while we just joked that if we ever combined, we would be mega writer. We'd be like a super powered writer with the two of us working together. Then a few years ago, I had an idea for a book that I really wanted to write with someone. So obviously Megan came instantly to mind. When we started, we didn't really have any idea what we were getting ourselves into. As it turns out, writing with another person in a lot of ways is really, really messy and presents a lot of challenges that writing a solo project does not have. For example, first drafts are almost always really messy, but the draft that Megan and I produced originally was so, so messy. When we first started writing together, our strategy was just that we would take turns writing chapters, and we didn't really communicate a lot beforehand what we were going to be writing about. A lot of times what this ended up looking like was almost this game of hot potato, where one of us would write our characters into a situation and then hand the manuscript off to the other person to try and get them out. And then the second person would maybe get them out of the first problem, but just throw them into a, another problem that was even worse. We eventually kind of worked ourselves into a corner where all of our characters were in so much trouble that we then had to have a pretty extensive planning session to figure out how we were going to get them all back out of trouble. But of course, one of the perks of writing with another person is that you then have twice as much brain power to try and figure out tricky plot situations, which is good for Megan and I because we like to put our characters in a lot of trouble. Like a lot of trouble. Like we burn something down like almost every chapter. One of the other difficult things about writing with another person is scheduling. Because Megan and I traded chapters back and forth, a lot of times one of us would want to be working on it while the other was in charge of writing, and we'd have to wait until the other person was done to start our next chapter. On the other hand, it's kind of nice that when all was said and done, I had another book that I had written, but I had only written half as many words for it as I had to write for all of the books I wrote by myself. It's also important to keep in mind that every co-authoring relationship is going to be different. Megan and I even have had our process and our co-authoring relationship change a little bit as we've gone along. It can also be a little difficult merging two different styles of writing. Megan and I both write different point of view characters, so that helps, but we still have to do things like figure out how our secondary characters are going to sound consistent when we're both writing them. Sometimes we have different ideas on which direction to send the plot, and we have to work through those. And then there's just the matter of process. Megan is a little bit more of a plotter than I am. I am a very hardcore pantser, so we've kind of had to come to a little bit of compromise there. So there are definitely a number of challenges to writing with another person, but there are also a lot of perks. For me, one of the best things about writing with Megan is that I now have someone who swoons over my characters as hard as I am, who's as invested in my project as I am, and who I can fangirl with all the time. Even though our drafts tend to be pretty messy and our process is a little confusing, being able to work through issues with another person makes it a little less intimidating. So we always have a lot of energy. Um, we've now done several drafts of the first book and we're still as excited about it as we were on day one and actually probably even more excited about it. We're able to feed off of each other's energy, which helps us keep going when we get into a rut with revisions. Also, Megan is great. She puts up with lots of weird things that I do, like sending her emails that just say, hey, we need more dead birds in our book. She also made me this framed picture of our characters. They're so cute. And Megan is the best. So all in all, I've had a great experience co-authoring. If you have ever considered writing something with a friend, I definitely recommend it. It's a wild ride, but it's totally worth it.